Hello and welcome to Rajya Sabha Television. You're watching The Big Picture with me, Frank Pereira. After over 25 years of touring South Africa, an Indian cricket team has managed to beat South Africa in an ODI series. It is no surprise that the team to do so is currently ranked number one in ODIs or that its captain is the talismanic Virat Kohli who has batted on a different level in the ongoing six-match series, which India wrapped up on Tuesday against a depleted and spin-weary home team. Kohli thus became the first Indian captain to win an ODI series in South Africa, leading the bowling and totally flummoxing South Africa's batsmen in four of the five matches have been the wrist-spinning pair of Kuldeep Yadav and Yuzvendra Chahal. India's success has handed South Africa just their seventh bilateral ODI series defeat at home, Barring six defeats and one four uh, is to four score line, the previous uh, 42 such series have all been won by South Africa. But the success is not just limited to the men in blue. Even the women's team has been performing phenomenally under Mithali Raj. And the Indian courts created a record by winning their fourth under-19 World Cup under the guidance of Rahul Dravid. On this edition of The Big Picture, we'll take a closer look at Indian cricket scaling new heights. Joining me on the program today are Atul Vasan, former Indian cricketer, Harpal Singh Bedi, senior sports journalist, and Ajay Mehra, international commentator and former cricketer. Thank you to all my guests for joining me on this edition of The Big Picture. Atul Vasan, I'd like to begin with you, of course. Uh, you know, we've finally broken the South African jinx. Can we now safely say that, you know, we are no longer just lions at home, we are, but we are lions abroad as well? Well, we seem to have lost the phone line there with Atul Vasan. We'll try and uh, reconnect with him. In the meantime, of course, let's go across to uh, Harpal Singh Bedi, who's here in our studio. We've finally broken the South African uh, jinx, Harpal Singh Bedi. Definitely not only broken, broken very convincingly. Rather, we demolished it uh, last frontier, which was considered to be. And to win, it's not a question of winning the sheet, the way we won. It is, we comprehensively beat them, uh, barring that fourth match which was Duckworth Lewis and we lost the match. Otherwise, you, you see the four matches and even in the test series, remember one thing, we lost three, two matches, but all the three matches were uh, very, we fought back and it was not an easy victory for South America in two test matches. It was not easy. We had chances. And as far as one day's series is concerned, I think we have outplayed them, outbatted them, outbowled them in all ways uh, of uh, uh, the, all the department of the game. Second thing, you said a depleted team. No, well, it is not India's fault if you have the team that you will play against the opposition, opposition is what you have. So, to, uh, apart from that, to go and beat a, a South Africa in a, a South Africa is very difficult because it is, nowadays we have seen, no country at home is easy to be beaten. Like India, we, as you we rightly said, uh, uh, Tigers at home. No, every country is Tiger. You, it is very difficult, barring uh, uh, West Indies or Sri Lanka. Every country, you can't, it's very difficult to beat Australia in Australia, even New Zealand in New Zealand, England in England, India in India. So, the, to win so convincingly, comprehensively, outplaying victory is one thing. The way we have demolished uh, South Africa, establish our credentials as number one team. You know, uh, Ajay Mehra, I'd like to bring you into the picture now. You know, uh, Harpal Singh Bedi spoke about how conven convincingly we won. So, you know, there's another aspect that I want to look into here. Is it the fact that the Indian team has become so phenomenally good or the opposition has been depleted over the years or is it a combination of both? No, you know, I, I feel it's that Indian team has really progressed well. You know, I, I, I'll see with that uh, point of view. Why I say that is, you know, you see the bench strength that's emerging now. I think a lot of credit to BCCI, the IPL as well, with the way the youngsters are approaching. You just mentioned about the women's team, you know, they have done well. Not to forget the under-19 as well. We won the World Cup just recently. And and the people who are emerging, you know, I've been following domestic cricket. Uh, there are a lot of talent that's emerging. A good team is that, remember one thing, that has a bench strength. You see Australia in the past, in the 90s, you know, West Indies in the 80s. You had the bench strength. You had, you know, if uh, West Indies had four fast bowlers who were bowling well, they had a reserve of four or five fast bowlers sitting in the bench. That is, that's the case with the Indian side now. You you see the batting lineup. You have people like, you know, Manish Pandey who are uh, warming the bench. You have a lot of talent there. You know, it, it's very difficult to break in. And the people who are performing well, you know, you can't take them out of the side. So I think the bench strength makes a big difference as well. And because of the IPL, you know, youngsters are so confident nowadays. Uh, people like, you know, under 19 boys, uh, you're playing with international stars. 
know exactly how to handle pressure. And also, you know, with the India tours, when you're going abroad, you know the conditions there, you're accustomed to conditions there. So that makes a big difference as well. I think the whole setup, you know, whole scenario, uh, the kind of domestic structure we have, you see in Pakistan, you know, they have a lot of talent. But the domestic structure isn't there. You know, just just pick up boys uh, randomly. You know, the, the atmosphere is extremely absolutely. conducive so, so, at this so moment. Once is you what have, you're suggesting. you know, a lot of competitions. You have, you know, uh, good competitions, healthy competitions in the country. That makes a big difference as well. Sure. So I think that that's a big difference now because all these people know how to handle pressure. They're very confident, know exactly how the game is, and then you have a good support staff as well. So I think credit to the Indian side, as Harpal just said, you know, it's not easy. You have comprehensively uh, beaten South Africa in their in their den as well. Whatever the conditions, they might be having you know few injured players who are not mm -hmm. playing in the 11 that doesn't make a difference you know what you have done is history you've created history sure. winning there you know, for the first time is a big talking thing. about the historic moment now i've been joined on the phone line by uh, gr vishwanath former indian cricketer and one of the finest batsmen that this Very country true. or this or the world has ever seen vishwanath Aure, welcome first and foremost and you know i want to ask you about Thank your you. thoughts about this historic victory series victory of the indian team in south africa it's a tremendous, of course. Uh, we just missed out uh, the test matches because the first test was very close. <clears throat> and then we won the, uh, the last one. So uh, we just missed out there, but we completely, uh, you know, in one day as uh, we showed uh, where we, we belong to. And, uh, you know, I'm, uh, <clears throat> what I'm really uh, the thing about the team is so consistent, you know, and uh, beautiful. At the top order is... All, you know, it's been uh, doing very well and a uh, uh, little bit of uh, this, uh, you know, late mid order, uh, you know, it's uh, not really consistently not doing well. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> otherwise, the bowling is excellent and uh, uh, the especially spinners, uh, of course, new ball bowlers. And the, the consistency which they are showing is absolutely brilliant. And uh, uh, I'm really happy about this team and uh, uh, winning the series abroad. Uh, uh, so convincingly, and uh, you know, I'm happy about uh, so far this Indian team now. You know, you played the game at the highest level. You've been watching the game at the highest level for a long time now, uh, Mr. <coughs> Vishwanath. What is the difference yeah. between this champion Indian team and the teams of the past? No, well, that's what I said about uh, the consistency, and uh, uh, especially from last uh, almost three three years, and you know. Uh, whether, uh, uh, all this time we were at home, but we showed what, uh, you know, especially in our condition, uh, you know, we uh, beat everybody. Uh, and now in South Africa, there was a, a bit of uh, hesitation uh, in the beginning, uh, you know. Uh, but uh, in the end, I think uh, uh, in the, we really did well, and the consistency of all the uh, uh, departments, uh, except probably catching. Uh, otherwise, uh, throughout, uh, it was a tremendous effort from all of them. All right. Jia Vishwanath, I know you have other commitments to attend to at this moment, <laughs> but thank you so much yeah. for joining us on the phone pleasure, line pleasure. and sharing your views on how the Indian team is doing. Arpal Singh Bedi, uh, Vishy there raising a question about the Indian middle order. He said probably if there is a chink in the armour, it has to be the Indian middle order. Is that something that is yeah, a, a concern happy. for us? I'm happy and that is why what the class department says. While there is euphoria about victory, here is the man who knows cricket. And as uh, you rightly said, one of the finest batsmen of his time. He has told you that there are weaknesses. Don't get carried away. And remember this, this number one thing is a bit of a, I, I, it's a mirage. Now, I remember in 2008, uh, when I was in Beijing in Olympics, there was uh, this press conference of uh, William's sister, Venus and Serena. They were uh, raising the objection of uh, number one. They said, we have won the Grand Slams, and the, man, uh, the woman who has never won any Grand Slams, she's number one. So number one has no meaning. Now, come to think of it, I don't want to be a play spoiled sport. We are not a World Cup winner. We are not Champions Trophy winner. We are not T20 winners. But we are number one. So the question is whether this consistency, remember one thing, when 2015, when we were playing the uh, uh, World Cup, we took 60 wickets on our way to a semi-final. All six matches, comprehensively demolishing other teams, we lost in semi-final. Same thing happened in T20. We beat everybody, got uh, lost in semi-final. Same thing happened in Champions Trophy. So you need one match to lose in these two tournaments. They, those are the tournaments that make a difference. Now, at the moment, we are doing phenomenally well. Demolishing. So, but so I, remember, so are, you, are you suggesting that temperament could temperament be a problem? Temperament and what Vishwanath 
uh, has pointed out, and that is an important thing, because in euphoria, you should not forget that we are totally depend being dependent on one or two batsmen. If Cody uh, scores, then we are doing well. If uh, one or uh, one or two batsmen score, we do very well. But if they don't score, then we will go. And if this happens, unfortunately, unfortunately, in World Cup. See, bilateral series are okay. And second thing, nobody, now it is so many bilateral series are there. We create history every time. I think the amount of history we have created, nobody else has created in as well sports. But nobody takes, you know, bilateral series are okay. But everybody is focusing on World Cup, T20 World Cup, Champions Trophy. That is our, uh, that will be our benchmark, what we'll do. Now, we have cricket next month also, again, against Sri Lanka. We'll create against history because poor Sri Lankans will come and try them out. Of, or we'd rather go there. And then we'll go to IPL. Then in between, there will be Afghanistan, one match. Then we go to Australia, uh, England. You know, you know, but the question you, you, is too you, much you, of cricket. You know, and you, you know, I'm, going to, I'm going to take the point that you're making to, to Ajay Mehra. Now, you know, uh, Mr. Bedi has suggested that the Sri, Lankans, the Sri Lankan team is deplorable. The Australians no, no, not are deplorable, no. <laughs> no. No, no, please don't put it. I said they are weak side at the moment. Deplorable is very, very strong. Sure, but okay, I never know. No opposition is deplorable, but they are weak side at okay, the moment. They are a very weak side at, at the, the moment. moment. At, at the moment, at the moment yeah. of course. We know yeah, that the Sri Lankan team has been very great very good, in the yeah, past. They've, yeah, they've achieved yeah. several laurels yes, in the past yes, as yeah. well. You know, is cricket losing its sheen world over and is the quality of the game coming down, Ajay Mehra? No, I, I don't think so. You know, uh, you know, I, I, as a cricketer, I feel, you know, you have to see at your own end. You know, if some team is weak or they are in a rebuilding phase, that's not your fault. I think the big thing, as uh, GR Bhai rightly mentioned and Harpalji as well, yes, there are chinks, you know, there are some areas, as Virat also mentioned uh, yesterday evening after the match in the post-match interview, that the middle order is one concern for them. But the vision for the Indian side at the moment for the team management for the captain is the 2019 World Cup. You know, how are you going to improve all the time? And that's when you, you raise your bar as a team, as a player as well, as a unit, combined unit. I, I think, you know, you have progressed really well. You know, I, I when I was playing in the 90s, I remember we hardly had, in the, even a domestic structure, we had didn't have seamers who were bowling at 140 plus. Now you see we have five or six potentially seamers, you know, who are playing for India as well, who, who are playing at the domestic level, who are bowling at uh, 140 and above. So, so, uh, you see the spinners, you know, the way they are picking up wickets, uh, the spin, uh, spin twins nowadays, Kuldeep Yadav, Chahal, the way they are bold. So, you know, uh, things are coming up of age. We had people like Ashwin, you know, who, who were playing uh, one-day cricket. Of course, they are playing test match a, a, as well a, a, as of now. But, you know, they're not a part of the one-day squad or the uh, T20 squad. Uh, you have, you know, uh, players who are regularly picking up wickets. You have the ability to pick up wickets in test matches as well. 20 wickets is needed to win a test match. So, I think as a unit, you have really done well. The top three batsmen, they have performed very well for India. Yes, there are always concerns for any side in the world as well. You know, uh, yes, the middle order hasn't done that well, but you have people, you are trying your best to... The middle uh, order hasn't been exposed to. Be absolutely, because, you know, top when the top three are getting runs. You might understand it's difficult for the middle order as well at times. You're not getting that number of overs. When you're getting, probably the, you're under pressure, you're playing some false shots, uh, some poor shot selection, but that, ha that happens. But you're always improving as a side. Sure. And the aim is the 2019 World Cup. If some other team is weak, that's not your fault. You know, you are playing well, you, you have really done well and he's right, you know, at times you haven't won those big tournaments, you know, Champions Trophy or the World Cup, but again, you know, uh, there, uh, there's always a process and Virat has just been made the captain, you know, a couple of years back. So, just give him time and I think this, uh, especially this one-day unit to me is looking very formidable. Okay, Atul Vasan, former Indian cricketer, joins us on the phone line right now. Atul Vasan, uh, you heard what the previous speaker, Ajay Mehra, had to say. Let's focus now on the 2019 World Cup. Do you believe that this is the best Indian team going into the 2019 World Cup. Aren't we jumping the gun? It's still a long way off to Tanzania. There'll be many injuries and there will be a lot of players coming through. A lot of players will go through bad form. So I think it's just uh, preempting something which we don't even need to think about. Why don't you we cross the bridge when we come to it? The main reason is that we are giving exposure to players which might be there in the uh, in the frame. And that is why I must commend all the selectors and the team management, especially Virat and Ravi Shastri, to take a punt and, and keep uh, Ashwin and Jadeja out of the picture. And just, uh, you know, adding these two bowlers in the mix, so it'll give more options to the team. Having said that, I think personally, if these guys keep on bowling the same way, Ashwin and Jadeja will uh, struggle to make it to the Indian one-day team. So, you know, talking about the spin door, do you believe that they, do you think that they could have possibly been exposed a little too early? Should we have unwheeled them to the world a little later, maybe? Not really, because, you know, image, it, see, it's clear. Uh, if you have to see the template of success, you've got to see how Australia dominated world cricket for over a decade and a half. 
ever since uh, C. Wop passed the baton all to on to Mark Taylor and on to uh, uh, Ricky Ponting and uh, henceforth and so on. Uh, because what they used to do before every World Cup, each and every member should have played more than 60, 70 one day. They never used to pick an Indian team. If you see over the years of for World Cups, they used to pick three or four or five rookie players who were just making their first tour. This is a surefire recipe to fail. But so now we have understood that, you know, you cannot have players going into a big tournament, into foreign conditions, into alien kind of a setup and expect them to win. So now they have used up this, this time that, okay, we find this player might be a utility player. Let us give us 30, 40 matches. If he's good, he will keep on surviving and be a, uh, his place will be set. And that's why he'll have experience also. So for a big stage, he'll be ready. I think this is what template is being followed and it's working very well for India. Sure. Uh, you know, uh, Harpal Singh Bedi, we've spoken about the spin duo. Let's let's talk about uh, let's talk about them a little more because when was the last time we saw two wrist spinners bowl in tandem like this and you know and and hunt as a pair? You remember, once you start winning, then you start uh, searching history. Then you say this is the best. And as uh, Atul also said, I said we should not get carried away this spin duo at the moment, and we should concentrate on um, World Cup. I know, and I have covered so many things. Whenever you are doing well. You and other people are watching. It may not be so easy. Uh, nobody takes wants to be defeated. But they always concentrate on World Cup. There is so much of cricket. As you first question is whether cricket is taking, uh, losing its scene. It definitely is losing. I slightly tend to disagree with you. It is definitely losing because there is so much of cricket is going on. So nobody bothered. So it was a big occasion. Uh, the India creating virtual history. But I have noticed that there was hardly any response from the public. Otherwise, it would have been a big thing. Uh, because so much cricket is there, nobody knows what is happening and who is playing when and who is not playing. And remember one thing, you have a Rohit Sharma who failed in five tests, like a, uh, so many matches, he scored a century. Now, but people, know, nobody bothered about that because you are winning. So this cannot continue long. As far as you are talking about this spinners that Chahal and uh, Kuldeep, yeah, uh, uh, they are doing well. And you have two spinners, uh, as Vasan pointed out, Ashwini and Jadeja out. It is, at the moment, looks good. But how long will it continue? It, it is an interesting thing. It is very difficult to sustain the same form. As Ajay will tell you, it is impossible. Now, why you are looking? We are looking so good at the moment that we are looking invincible. But we looked invincible in 2015, when we were beating everybody hollow. You know, we, were, we got stuck with the. You know, we are joined the on the phone line now by Syed Kirmani, the finest wicketkeeper this country has ever seen, and the finest wicketkeeper who's seen the finest bowlers. Absolutely. You know, from from behind the stumps. Very so good. let's 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 spare a thought and let's let's go across to him and see what he thinks about the spin duo of Kuldeep Yadav and uh, Yuzvendra Chahal. Hello. 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 Go ahead, Mr. Kirmani. We can hear you. Uh, okay, you you have come on to me. Okay, done. Yeah, is it about Kuldeep on uh, Chahal? You're Kuldeep, yes. W w what are your thoughts on the spin duo? Yeah, I think it is a wonderful opportunity provided to them, away from Ashwin and Ravindra, Ravindra Jadeja. You see, it was a high time, and these guys uh, proved themselves uh, to into their domestic tournaments and into their IPL matches. You see, these are the um, bowlers who have done great amount of, uh, you know, uh, hard work uh, to see that uh, the Indian team is well equipped with spinners as well, away from the uh, uh, pace bowlers who have done, who have been doing a great job. I think uh, 2017 and 18 have been a wonderful transformation uh, of Indian team. Of course, in between the ups and downs, the glorious uncertainties of the game is always there. But these two guys have um, really um, done very well. Um, since the time they have been introduced into the Indian team. Sure. You know, moving on from the two spinners now to our wicketkeeper and the former captain, Mahindra Singh Dhoni, do you believe that he is going to continue to play? How long should he continue to play? And is he still, uh, you know, an asset to the Indian team? Well, I think he's a brilliant asset uh, to the Indian team as long as he is performing, as long as... He's enough to perform and play and uh, honor the country. You should leave that decision to him. He has be, he would be a great role model to Virat Kohli in various um, advisors on the field and off the field as well. You need to have some experienced players into the uh, team. It has to be a good combination of experience and uh, young, talented players into the team so that the younger fellows learn something from the seniors. You know, so uh, Mahindra Singh Dhoni 
Uh, of course, I will not talk about uh, the wicket keeping or anything uh, from that angle, but he is a tremendous asset to the Indian team for sure. You know, talking about the youngsters, Rahul Dravid has done a fantastic job with the under-19 team. You know, they have won the World Cup for a record fourth time. Would you safely say that Indian cricket is in good hands at the moment? Absolutely, no two ways about it. He has been a great role model and a motivator and an inspiring mentor to these uh, younger generation because that is where is the grooming process, if you ask me. That is where you can mend a guy into the right frame of mind, into building up their characters. And they cannot, they wouldn't have been a better person than Rahul Dravid, and who was very aptly accepted that post, knowing that you need some character building into the cricketers, which was which was which is missing actually if you ask me with due respects to those cricketers at the international level so he has been the right choice uh, to be the mentor and a head coach of the under 19 and india a team and uh, they have done a superb job magnificent performance by these under 19 players right from the first match you see, it was not just um, a flash in the pan, like, you know, sure. um, and they're very convincing. They comprehensively, they beat all the teams they confronted with. Indeed. All right. Uh, Sayed Kidmani, thank you so much for joining us there on the phone line and sharing your views on how the Indian uh, cricket team and the Indian Colts are doing as well. Atul Vasan, you know, taking off from what Sayed Kidmani has just said, uh, is the pressure now going to build on the senior players with the young guns, you know, just lurking in the background, trying to take their place? And is that good for Indian cricket? Of course it is. I think pressure, if somebody uh, is not getting complacent about his place and there are people nipping at your heels, is always uh, augurs well for any kind of cricket. I mean, again, I will give examples of, of teams which have dominated world cricket. It was always this. You had another team ready sitting on the bench. And Indian cricket is at that stage where I think in the India A team can give competition to the top Indian team uh, or any other team in the world. Even that is true for uh, uh, the course. So it shows that our, our system has worked. It's live and kicking the zonal academies, the national cricket academy, the coaching system, the right kind of incentive, the looking after of players, even at the junior level, is all paying dividends, you know. And uh, and even if senior players feel that they cannot afford to uh, not perform in few matches and still get away with a, a permanent seat in the team, those days are gone. Sure. You know, Ajay Mehra, we've spoken enough about the uh, men in blue. We've spoken enough about the Indian Colts. Let's talk about the women in blue now Absolutely. because they too have done a phenomenal job, you know, reaching the finals of the World Cup, or a World Cup probably that they should have won because they played consistently well all through the tournament. They are winning comprehensively in South Africa as well. You know, what's happening with the Indian women's team? You know, I, I think uh, suddenly you have, uh, you know, big stars emerging. And uh, that, that's the kind of thing what happened after the 1983 World Cup as well. Once you won a World Cup, there were a lot of, you know, people passionate about cricket, youngsters taking up cricket. So that's exactly what's happening in women's cricket at the moment, you know. Uh, we have big stars, Mithali, Harun, Preet Kaur, you know, big stars coming up. And I think uh, now the women's cricket is really coming up of age. You know, there was a time it was subdued, uh, not too many people are watching, following it. But suddenly things have taken uh, it's like a revolution that happens, you know. And once you've reached that final, as you rightly mentioned, the way team progress in England, I think there's been a, a upsurge as far as women's cricket is concerned. And the results are showing now. So you, when you have big stars, I think a lot of youngsters, a lot of young girls are motivated to take up that sport. And that's exactly what is happening with Indian women's cricket team at the moment. Sure. You know, and talking about both the Indian cricket team and the uh, women's team, uh, Atul Vasan, the captaincy, both teams led by talismanic captains with Tali Raj and Virat Kohli leading the way right from the front, you know, and that probably too has had a big role to play as far as Indian cricket is concerned. Yes, uh, you can say that, but I am not a very big fan of, of captaincy's role in all formats. I think T20 and one-day cricket, you've got to be on autopilot. Test cricket, yes, they've got a big role of the captain, but a captain is only as good as the kind of players he's given the team. You give Bangladesh team to Ricky Ponting or uh, Clyde Lloyd, he wouldn't have made them world champions. So you've got to have the players also. Sure, OK. Quick, quick closing comment, uh, uh, Harpal Singh Bedi, on what the future holds for Indian cricket. Right, cricket, because we have nothing else but cricket. From 1 to 11, we play cricket. So only the only nation which plays so much of cricket, because we have other game. When you were comparing with Australia, they have other things. They have football, they are preparing for football, they have hockey, they are, we have nothing. So cricket looks future, and our future, if our future is bright, cricket future is bright. World cricket is alive because I, I, of I don't know if it's uh, if it's right to it say we have nothing. No, no, we we do have. 
but we do ever have so many debates or something like that. I hardly seen anybody. No, I'm uh, uh, doing a, a sport for the last 35 years, I know. It is cricket, cricket, cricket. You have other victories that is one who win one medal, here to one or two debates. But cricket, as you asked me about it, you are saying it is the future of yes. cricket. Future of cricket is very bright. We have the, we have, it is, cricket has been very popular game. Remember one thing, it is not done new from 47 onwards or a period to that. Hockey, we hockey have, too is on an upswing right yeah, now. No, but it was not getting that much. Sports. And remember one thing, we have the highest literature, but when we never used to win, we have so many books. On, in no country has written on their defeats as much as India has written over the cricket. So as far as you are talking, you, uh, uh, you have, no, Lala has written, Hazare has written, sure. but out there. we never used to win those days. But question, as you, question, your question is, what is the future? The future is very bright. Okay, as future, like India's future is clearly bright, cricket is bright. Okay, the future of cricket is bright. Cricket, as, far as, is as far as India is concerned, and Indian cricket is in a very happy place and a nice place at this point in time is what our guests are saying here in our studio and outside as well. We wish the Indian cricket players the very best and to, to climb new heights as well as they go along in their careers. Thank you to all my guests for joining me on this edition of The Big Picture and putting things into perspective for us. That's it from me. See you again next time.